going to Slew here with the weekly fix. We're back from our break. This week on the fix, we got a few topics for you. We have motorcycle snow climb in the X Games. We also have Yamaha buying a three wheel motorcycle company, and we also have Supercross A2 recap. More to come. And as always, if you watch us on YouTube, make sure you click the bell icon, subscribe, helps us keep making these videos. With bikes built like these, it is gonna be an exciting day of head-to-head -head action at the first ever Harley Davidson Snow Hill Climb. All right, guys, we got the X Games coming to Aspen, Colorado, January 25th to the 28th. Uh, big news with this is that Harley Davidson is gonna have a snow climbing competition to close out the show on the 28th. It's gonna be two head-to-head -head riders going straight up the super pipe on the snow uh, as fast as they can. The first one to the top wins the race. So. Uh, coming out live to uh, Aspen, Colorado for some good racing. Where? Where are we gonna go? I'll tell you where. Some place warm. A place where the beer flows like wine. Where beautiful women instinctively flock like the salmon of Capistrano. I'm talking about a little place called Aspen. Yamaha has just recently purchased a three-wheel motorcycle company called Rudeli. Dilly Dilly. Dilly Dilly. Rudelli is basically a Norwegian startup company. Um, Yamaha feels that the three-wheel motorcycle has definitely gained traction and they really want to fill the void between the motorcycle and the small car market essentially. Um, Yamaha has also recently unveiled a Nikon motorcycle which we did talk about on a previous weekly fix uh, with dual front shocks, dual front wheels. Um, this system right now with the new um, Brudelli system is basically going to be something that they're going to integrate, you know, come out with some new models and maybe even, you know, be some competition for the Can-Am Spider. So uh, good things come from Yamaha as usual. This year BRP is celebrating its 50th anniversary uh, of its inception. Basically, um, you know, they really pioneered the way for many watercraft and personal watercraft designs, um, you know, over the last 50 years. Uh, even this year, the GTX, their new hull design, their audio system, very powerful 300 horsepower motor, um, you know, started at a very simple 302 uh, CC motor back in 1968. So, um, you know, always looking for good things with Sea-Doo innovating new products and keeping the watercraft industry growth very good. When it was all said and done, Anderson would end up taking the win in main event number three. He'll hang on to his red number plate as the series moves on to Phoenix, but it's Tomac who comes back and makes history, winning the first 450 overall in a triple crown formatted race. Okay guys, we just had Supercross at Anaheim 2. Uh, it was a tight race, but Jason Anderson took the win, followed closely five seconds behind by Eli Tomac. Um, you know, it's definitely a points battle. We got some of the top contenders out of the race this past one. Uh, Marvin Muscan was out, but um, you know, Eli Tomac returned after his initial injury early in the season. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be going to Glendale, Arizona for the University of Phoenix. We're going to have round four of the uh, Supercross, so make sure you check it out. It's going to be Saturday. Uh, enjoy the racing. And now, guys, your clip of the week. Look at that shit, bro. Don't even fly, bro. What a fing beast! Ah! 